Muslims are very fond of claiming that the Quran stated 1400 years ago scientific facts that were unknown at the time. And there are several videos here on YouTube making this claim, most of them featuring a man called Sakia Naik. Muslims are very fond of pointing to these videos as evidence of their claim. Let's do a little research into this claim then, and see what we come up with. Now this will have to be a series of videos because there are really a lot of these different scientific facts that Muslims will claim are proof of the divinity of the Quran. The first point we will examine is the light of the moon. We know this to be light that is reflected by the moon, but which originated from the sun. Now the Muslim claim here is that Allah knew this 1400 years ago and that he told Muhammad who included it in the Quran in Surah 71, Ayah 15 and 16, and who could not possibly have known otherwise. And that this, of course, proves the Quran is the word of God. Well, um, Aristotle knew this about 350 years BC, that the moon only reflected the light of the sun. So this one's fairly easy to shoot down. In fact, Aristotle used this as evidence in, a, in an entirely different discussion, which we'll get back to. So we can probably assume that even before this time, the reflection of light by the moon was a well-established fact. Now next, we have the matter of the shape of the earth. The Quran has a verse in Surah 79, Ayah 30, which has been translated in various ways. This claim is based on a relatively new translation, which reads, He made the earth egg-shaped. Older translations read, And the earth, moreover, hath he extended to a wide expanse. Or, And after that he spread the earth. Or, And the earth, he expanded it after that. And thanks for that general effect. But even if we say we accept the egg-shaped translation, there are two vital points to make here. First off, it isn't. The earth is spherical, like a ball, except for a slight compression of the polar regions. It's much closer in shape to a ball than to an egg, even the ostrich egg, which Sakia Naik claims is what the Quran meant. Secondly, let's turn to Aristotle. Now, what he actually did with the fact that the moon's light is reflected is, he used it to prove a spherical earth, not just circular, spherical. Again, this was a thousand years before, before Muhammad was even born. That should pretty much bury this one. Next claim we'll investigate is that the Big Bang is in the Quran. Surah 21, Ayah 30 says, Do not the unbelievers see that the heavens and the earth were joined together before we clove them asunder? Yet in Surah 41, Ayah 11 it says, Then he turned to the heaven, which was only smoke at that time. He said to the heaven and the earth, Come ye together, willingly or unwillingly. So, which is it? Make up your mind already. I think we can well and truly call this one an over-interpretation. It's a matter of people seeing what they want to see.